Here's our man at the manor ground today. Afternoon to you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the cameraman walking across the shot. There. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sure he never meant to do it. Unbelievable, Jeff. Jeff. Unbelievable, Jeff. Unbelievable, Jeff. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Unbelievable, Jeff. <laughs> Unbelievable, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> Come on! You want some more? You want some more? You want some more? I don't want to hurt you. God! It's going to go to your left-hand side. <laughs> Not only does he book him, well, he didn't book him, sorry. Not only does he produce the red card, he sends him off. Very much so, George. It's been speaking to uh, George, uh, Jeff, uh, Fred. <laughs> I just. Been... But you have to win. If you don't win, I don't want you here again. <laughs> Hammy, what on earth are you wearing? What do you mean? Hammy, where are you? I'm here with the hangers on, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> You're unbelievable. All the fans today, optimistic, the homecoming of Messiah, uh, they're expected to win against Hull. Well, it, you mean Burnley, don't you, Chris? Oh, I meant Burnley, yeah. <laughs> it should be lively rather than um, vengeance-wise. <laughs> Thanks very much, indeed, Chris. <laughs> Not at all, Jeff. Their football arsenal is on another level, but Spurs are fighting like beavers, defending for their lives. <laughs> Did I hear that correctly? Yeah. Fighting like beavers. <laughs> <laughs> Not tigers or lions, <laughs> but beavers, those ferocious little devils. They're carving them up as easy as, well... Carving them up as easy as, as easy as... Beavers was the word. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, thank you once again. 3 0. <laughs> Chris, it's my absolute pleasure. <laughs> it was on the line, Jeff, but it wasn't the whole of the ball. You could see once the Tech Nine, Tech Nine led Tology, agony, lies and leap wide for um, uh, Leicester. And the only reason Middlesbrough are not out of sight is because they've been a bit ploppy, uh, uh, a little bit sloppy in this uh, second half. He got his head onto it, oh, deflected it. Uh, that's the thing up there. <laughs> and he's up like a kangaroo. Those kangaroos are prolific, aren't they, at that sort of level? Got a chance, Jeff. He comes across the ball. It's a goal. Stannis up. Makes it 3 3. <laughs> For the first time, he could have said unbelievable, Jeff, and he didn't. <laughs> it was a game, Jeff, to come back in again. Oh, he's in the crossbar. Hey, you oh! And half is just about underway. Who started the better, Chris? Well, the second half is just underway down at Upton Park. West Ham won, Southampton won. Who started the better, Chris? <laughs> second half is well underway at Upton Park now. Southampton back on level terms against West Ham. Who started the better, Chris? <laughs> He has not got a Scooby-Doo. <laughs> it's pretty even, but, well, well, not pretty even, because Sunderland is slightly on top. They've been absolutely magnificent. If it's not for Rob Elliott or for the misses, then they would be, well, not Rob Elliott, it's misses, for the missed chances, well. <laughs> and Mrs Elliott's first ever mention in a match report. Green Elliott, Carly. I've told you before, Cammy, do not call me Carly in public. You'll leave me at the end of the game, Carly. I've told you, Cammy, stop calling me Carly in public. Carly. For goodness sake. With um, Zaha and uh, Abokra, Abokra. Uh, the other fella up front whose name I, I can't get at this moment in time. Well, in possession was five tenths of the law, Jeff. Possession uh, was five tenths of the law. Oh, crikey. Um, sorry, Neil. Uh, the mood is one of surprise, really. I knew I'd get called Jeff a couple of times today. I wasn't expecting a Neil. Trippier tripped slump. Uh, but he pushed Slup and pushed Trippier before Trippier tripped up Slush, <laughs> you know what I mean? Who's had the better of the early stages, Cammy? Cammy, what's happening in the game, Cammy? What a tribute to have a cardboard Cammy in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Revenge is sweet! <laughs> Papa Booper Diop, the man mounted himself, is playing as a striker. And he's got uh, Healy one side of him and Diamante Kamali on the side. He's popping up a deal with the header. Ah, it's a goal. It's a goal, Jeff. Is it David Healy? He's running away. Andy Dursto's playing on. Sorry, my monitor's down again. I'm looking over my shoulder. What? I don't really know the assistant. Hasn't given it. Oh, the assistant hasn't given it, I don't think, Jeff. No, the referee hasn't given it either. 
don't really know what's happening, Jim. <laughs> could be, could be not. <laughs> I tell you what, Cammy, it's, it's, not, it's, the first, it's not the first time we've not known what's happening. We're up to Fratton Park where there's been a red card, but for who, Chris Damara? I don't know, Jeff, has it? I must have missed that. The red card. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> have you not been watching? I haven't. <laughs> I don't know where that's come from, Chris. I have no idea what has happened there. What's happened, Chris? Uh, I don't know, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The rain must have got in my eyes, Jim. <laughs> Chris, Chris, let me tell you, according, according to our sources, Anthony Van Den Boer has been sent off for a second bookable offence. Get, get your fingers out and count up the number of Portsmouth players who are on the field. Oh, you're right, I saw him go off, but I thought they were bringing a sub on you. That's professionalism, my cabbage. Still nil nil. <laughs> Cutting edge reports on Gillette Soccer Saturday. Oh. <laughs>